this lesson, we will be discussing FRS, or Family Radio Service, and GMRS, or General Mobile Radio Service. Before we get into FRS and GMRS separately, I do want to make this clarification first. FRS and GMRS share the exact same 22 pre-programmed channels. So whether you have an FRS radio like this, or a GMRS radio like this, you will be able to communicate with each other. The main difference between FRS and GMRS is the power. Any radio 2 watts or less is classified as FRS and does not need a license to operate. Any radio over 2 watts and up to 50 watts is classified as GMRS and you do need a license to operate. I'll get into the specifics of uh, licensing a little bit later on. Um, but in terms of channel specifics, channels 1 through 7 are limited to 5 watts of power. Channels 8 through 14 are limited to 0.5 watts of power. And channels 15 through 22 are allowed up to 50 watts of power. So if you're really wanting to get out there, with, uh, from a range perspective, you really want to be on channels 15 through 22 because you are allowed the maximum amount of watts um, by law. FRS and GMRS are UHF radios operated in FM mode between 462 and 467 megahertz. The sound clarity with these radios is much better than they are than, than they would be with CB because they run on FM mode rather than AM mode. So FRS, GMRS run on FM mode and CB runs on AM mode, right? So if you think about your, your car radio, right, which one sounds better, right? Your FM sounds better than your AM. It's the exact same, same principle with, with these radios. Um, FRS and GMRS also feature privacy tones and channels that allows you to uh, block out unwanted chatter. So it, whether you know, you're on the trail, out at the campsite, on the road, the highway, if, if you, you know, are not wanting to hear outside chatter, you can put in these privacy tones um, some come pre-programmed um, as actual channels, and some that you have to manually put in as tones, but either way, you're going to be able to block out that unwanted chatter. Um, now that you have that information regarding FRS and GMRS as a whole, let's talk about each one of them separately. FRS radios are only offered in a handheld version and are not offered in a mobile version. FRS radios are pretty much any walkie-talkie you would find in a sporting goods store or big box retailer. FRS walkie-talkies are convenient for short distance communication due to its power limit of 2 watts, you should expect a half mile to 2 miles of range. FRS walkie-talkies have a fixed antenna and are not repeater capable. Having a radio that does this would go against FCC regulations. These radios are perfect for pairing with a GMRS mobile radio like this to use for spotting and recovery out on the trail. You can get a pair pack of a radio like this anywhere from $20 to $100, but just remember that if you buy a, a pair pack for $20, that it's probably going to be a 0.5 watt radio and that you're going to get a limited amount of distance out of it. So you, you might want to consider spending that little bit more money you know, towards that $100 range to get that full two watts out of a radio like this. Now that we've discussed FRS, let's move on to GMRS. GMRS, or General Mobile Radio Service, is allowed up to 5 watts of power with a handheld device and 50 watts of power with a mobile device and external antenna. GMRS radios come with pre-programmed channels, so there is no programming of the radio required for general use. Additionally, there is no grounding or tuning of the antenna required, making these radios about as plug-and-play as it gets. Most GMRS radios come with a unity gain antenna, such as this one right here. However, you can purchase a 3 dB antenna like this ghost antenna which will double the signal output of your radio or a 6 dB antenna which will quadruple your signal output of your radio. Either one of these antennas will dramatically increase the range of your radio. GMRS radio operators enjoy around 5 to 35 miles of range depending on the terrain and wattage of their radio and even more range with the use of a repeater. A GMRS license is required by the FCC to legally operate this radio. The license is $70 and covers you and your extended family for 10 years. You simply apply and pay for the, on the FCC website and you usually have your license in 24 to 48 hours. A good GMRS handheld radio will cost you about $75 to $100 per pair pack and a mobile GMRS radio range from $100 to about $250. I hope you have a good understanding of FRS and GMRS radios. We'll see you in the next lesson.